friends welcome to my channel in today's video you will see a beautiful theater animation with curtain and lights for your video so how to create a theater animation with curtain and lights so it is an interesting way of representing your video so uh, it is a beautiful way so the beautiful animation is going to look like this so on a click all the light turns off and the screen opens and then the show begins so i have just skipped some of the video so now the show is going to end yes now after the show ends the screen is uh, coming and closing the, the screen and then the lights are turning on so this is how this presentation is going to look. Let's see how to do it. So before working with the presentation, let's go to the Google Chrome. And I have searched theater GIF with screen and I have found this. So I love this because there is a wonderful screen and there, is, there are also people clapping their hands. So I like this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy image. You can, there are many GIFs here so you can choose any of them. And I'm going to move on to the presentation and I'm going to paste the GIF. So after it is get, uh, got pasted, we are going to click and drag this GIF to the full size of this slide. So we want this slide to be covered with the GIF. And now we are going to go to the insert tab and under the media group we are going to click on this video drop down. So if you have your video in this device uh, that is in your computer you can click on this device or if you want to insert some online video you can also click on online video. So I have already stored my video so I am just going to click on this device and going to click insert. So now you can see that uh, this box is being appeared here. Then this video is covering the full slide size. So I am just going to click and drag this to the end. So this video should cover the size of the screen of this GIF. So it should not cover the slide but it should cover the screen of the GIF which we have used behind this. So I am just making some adjustments here yes now if you see this video is in the correct size of the screen of this data so this is how this should look and now again i am moving to the google chrome and i have also searched this theater curtain images so here i have found this third theater curtain which is looking awesome so i am just going to right click this click on copy image and again I am going to go here and I am going to click on paste so I have this screen image here so I am again going to make the screen to the same size of the data screen the GIF screen that is so just uh, pull down yes it should be it should be like the screen is attached to this data that is to this GIF. So now if you see, yes, here there are some little gap. Now if you see, you can see that the GIF, the, the GIF screen is covered with the curtain which we have attached now. And now let's move on to this uh, home tab under the drawings. To, uh, group you are going to click on this shapes auto shapes drop down and under the basic shapes you are going to click on this oval tool and i am going to draw a small circle here so this is going to be the light for our theater so let's just reduce so i am putting a circle as the light for our, for my theater you can also put a rectangle or square or any other shapes as the lights for your theater and i'm going to go to the shape fill and i like i want my uh, 
light to be in a purple color so I'm just going to choose this and the shape outline is going to be no outline and right click on this shape and go to the format shape which is right uh, below that and under this uh, shape options here fill and line options under this fill you are going to click on this uh, solid fill I'm going to make this transparency as 10 percent percentage so just I'm making this to make the uh, light to look more realistic and then I'm going to go to this effects and under this glow I'm going to make the glow color as the same purple color in which the light is uh, there so I have chose the same purple color you can see that there is no difference between these two colors and the tra the size is going to be say 56 around 60 percentage and the transparency is going to be around 30 percentage and this is how the light looks and we are going to select this and we are going to make three uh, copies of this so how to make a copy just click on Control plus D to make three uh, I want three copies that is three lights I want three lights for my data so I am uh, I am putting three copies so if you want two lights one light that is your wish you can make the copy as per it uh, now again go to the same oval tool which we have uh, drawn for this and I'm going to make an oval of the same size as the light. Now you can see that there is no similarity between the shape. Now let's go to the shape fill and say as white color and the shape outline is black outline and the weight of the outline is going to be say four and a half pt. No, let's make it as three pt because it's fine. Now the go to this fill and line again and under this fill this transparency is going to be say around around 70 percentage so it is going to be like this and then again you're going to make i'm going to make two copies because there are three lights here so control plus t control plus t i am clicking on control i am going to click on t and then i'm going to click uh, i'm going to align these lights that is the circles in the correct position so this is how uh, these lights are going to look but now we don't want these lights because it will be confusing to add the animations because now we are going to add an animation yes let's go to the animations tab now and let's click this uh, curtain and the animation which we are going to put is under the exit animation the split animation so the default option is vertical in so we are going to go to the effect options here drop down menu and we are going to click on vertical out and then the duration is going to be two seconds uh, i'm going to open animation pane so that you can see everything what i'm going to do now and now it's time to apply some animations for this light so click on all these three lights go to the animations and go to the same exit animation and we're going to click and we're going to click on disappear so this makes that uh, this makes these lights to get turned off so this is how this is going to look and so this animation is already the video animation we need these lights to get turned off firstly the lights are going to turn off and then the screen is going to open and then the video is going to start play, playing so i want these three to happen first and then this is going to happen so i'm going to click this then i'm going to click and pull up so yes so this is how this is going to look and we are going to change the second oval 8 as say after previous the start is going to be after previous and this is going to be after previous so I want all these to the duration say 50 seconds 
so this is going to be 50 seconds and this is also going to be 50 seconds and this curtain is going to happen after previous that is after all the turn all the lights turn off this is going to happen and this video is going to play after previous after the curtain opens and i'm again going to click on this curtain and go to add animation drop down and under this entrance i'm going to click on split so this time the default option is this one the vertical in and i'm going to make the duration as two seconds and this start is going to be after previous that is after the uh, video ends again click on all these lights and uh, go to add animation drop down and under the entrance click on this appear so the it is that these lights are going to uh, get on so these are going to turn on after this pre uh, this screen ends and then we need all these to be 50 seconds so this one is 50 seconds and this one is 50 seconds and this one happens after previous and this one happens second one happens after previous and the third one happens after previous so this is how the video is going to be and the last thing is aligning these circles in the light in the correct position of the light so now the theater is ready for the show to be played so let's watch how this is going to be so let's go to this slideshow mode and on a click all these lights are getting turned off and then the curtains are opening and then the video is starting so this is a cute show of the cat so all people are uh, clapping their hands for the beautiful show of this cat so it is a beautiful way to represent our videos just enjoy the show now So I hope you loved this video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.